Well, good morning, everybody. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm told I got about uh, six minutes. I need about two hours to tell you everything I want to tell you. So uh, first, let me say, man, it's really an honor to be here. And look at us having an event outside where we're all gathering together. And you know what? It's okay. Let me say I've been uh, proudly and zealously representing you guys for 27 years now. Responsible gun owners who get charged with all kinds of gun crimes. So I want to just give you a few tips really fast. Do you want to help promote gun rights? Okay, well here's my suggestion. Don't be an idiot with a firearm. That's like the best advice I can give you. Don't be a statistic for the other side to say, look at all these irresponsible gun owners. What does that mean? Uh, alcohol and guns don't mix very well. Neither do drugs and guns mix very well. If you're somebody who's just so excited to pull out your firearm, you can't wait for that opportunity, you probably should have my card in your pocket. Be a conservative gun owner. Be concerned and cautious about pulling it out. And never, ever, ever, not for one second, don't ever be careless with your firearm. You gotta always be on guard for the accidental discharge. That's what this crowd is gonna get charged with. This crowd is generally responsible gun owners. The way you guys get in trouble is with that, oops, accidental discharge. Did you know that not only is that a felony, that is a mandatory prison felony in this state. I want to say um, so much more about this, but fortunately for you, I don't have that kind of time. But if you go to our booth, I've got a pamphlet there called Five Things Every Responsible Gun Owner Ought to Know. If you are a gun owner in this state, you should have that, read it. If you have questions, please contact me. But let me say this, uh, I'm a pro-gun guy, but I am not a pro-gun guy because I like guns. Yeah, I'm a proud gun owner. Guns are fine. I shot all kinds of things when I was in the Marine Corps. I'm a very proud former Marine, but I'm a gun guy because I'm a freedom guy. We need to be freedom people first. I'm pro-gun because I'm pro-freedom. Freedom is the real issue. And let me even say here at the Second Amendment event, it's not about the Second Amendment. They could repeal the Second Amendment anytime. There are people in the government who want to repeal the Second Amendment and it could be done. If they do that, are we gonna say, oh, well shucks, I guess we don't have gun rights anymore. No, we're not gonna say that. It's about freedom, it's not about guns. These are all the same issues. All of these issues that the R's and the D's are driving us crazy about, they're all the same issues. Who's in charge of your body, and your money, and your property, and your time? If you're a freedom person, the answer should be you are. Not the government, not the Senate, not your neighbor, not the majority. My question for you is, are you comfortable with the idea that other competent adult Americans might use their freedoms, their body, their money, their property, and their time in ways that you don't like? Are you comfortable with that? You should get comfortable with that because that's what freedom is about. That's what the other side is saying to us I don't like guns, I don't have a gun, therefore you shouldn't have a gun. Do we say the same things about weed, or prostitution, or taxes? They're all the same issue. Maybe the owner should be in charge of making these decisions. We need to be comfortable with the idea that our fellow Americans can peacefully do whatever they want with their body, their money, their property, and their time. We need to be more tolerant. In that vein, I want to tell you very, very quickly about a brand new movement that is getting started. I will tell you, I am done with the R's and the D's. They are not getting us anywhere, nowhere. 
We need a new movement. Does everybody agree with the, uh, the phrase, live and let live? How about live and let live? What could be more American than live and let live? Please go to liveandletlive.org. We're starting a new global peace movement. It's gonna be based on freedom and peace in aspirational values. We need to be more civilized and more tolerant. I wanna just leave you with this. I know what you guys are concerned about. I've been speaking at the Crossroads Gun Show now for over 20 years, and I've been talking to gun guys every month, with the exception of the last year or so, about their concerns, and I know what you are concerned about. You are concerned that you're a law-abiding person, you're not worried about getting charged with a whole bunch of crimes, but you are worried about getting charged with something related to taking your firearm out. That's gonna cost you tens of thousands of dollars. I got a solution for you. For 25 bucks a month, you can join our Attorneys on Retainer program. Stop by the booth. We will handle the entire program for you. If you get charged, we will represent you. My team of fire-breathing, pro-freedom lawyers, every single one of them at my firm, is a hardcore, pack-of-wild-wolf kind of lawyer who like to fight for freedom. We will handle your case with no additional legal fees all the way through trial, even if you're charged with first-degree murder. It's a no-brainer. If you are carrying a firearm and you don't have our Attorneys on Retainer card in your pocket, you are at risk. Stop by the booth. And I want to just finish by saying, I think it's wonderful that we got people here who choose not to wear masks, who are not wearing masks, and people who choose to wear masks, who are wearing masks. Let's respect the rights of our fellow brothers and sisters to make this decision for themselves. After all, it's their damn body. Peace, everybody. Right.